हेलो गाइस व्हाट्स अप सो माइक्रोसॉफ्ट फ्लाइट सिमुलेटर पैच फिक्स वर्जन 1.7.14.0 वर्जन इज करेंटली आउट एंड इट इज टारगेटेड टू फिक्स अ नंबर ऑफ इश्यूज व्हिच दिस गेम इज फेसिंग सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द पैच नोट्स व्हाट ऑल इश्यूज विल दिस पैच फिक्स एंड आल्सो व्हेदर इट इज अवेलेबल टू डाउनलोड और नॉट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड बट द प्री कंडीशन बिफोर यूजिंग दिस पैच फिक्स यू मस्ट डू इज दैट द डेवलपर्स हैव स्ट्रांगली रिकमेंडेड and have advised that uh, gamers who experience problem should completely uninstall the game should completely clean it and then do a clean install of this game and then use the patch fix that is what the developers of the games are recommending now let's go on to the patch fixes node what all issues uh, this patch is currently targeted to fix first is the stability issue fixes the title rather the game will no longer crash when different input devices peripherals are disconnected the title will no longer crash when the tbm 930 package is deleted now there was issues when number of input devices were connected disconnected due to continuous connection and disconnection there was a stability issue and the game would sometime crash so with this fix uh, the stability issue has been taken care of next let's go on to the installation issue now uh, majority of the issue which this game has faced uh, has happened uh, during the installation of the game because of that uh, the problem occurred while install installation has uh, continued the crashing and instability issue the main reason was the installation process which they have fixed in this issues fix uh, so the install process will no longer be blocked after a partial decompression of a package the install process will no longer be blocked when a local user account includes non ascii characters the install progress will no longer be blocked after a failed connection to server the install process will no longer display an empty onboarding screen under certain condition now this onboarding screen this empty onboarding screen was a major problem which lot many gamers have faced the title will download a critical missing deleted package to access the main menu even if the save data preference is set to offline when an internet connection is available so important installation related fixes before and after they have fixed where you would be seeing only a static screen which is probably the stuck screen and you are not moving forward or backward that is a very important fix which they have brought in this patch with that let's move on to the content manager the title which is the game will no longer automatically download packages that have been deleted through the content manager the content manager will no longer get stuck in an infinite loading state when checked offline the creator name of the packages should now be properly updated now there was a where automatic updation of the game was allowed and that was causing a lot of issues with the crash up stability and all of the factors so certainly they have taken care of that and a big time they have taken care of this issue which was very important and irrespective of the gamers uh, who were playing this game on windows 10 uh, different processors they were facing a lot of issues nvidia and amd users both were facing a lot of issues which this uh, patch fix is going to handle next we are going to other some of the issues which this uh, patch fix is going to fix which is the sim connect significant fps drop when using sim connect should no longer affect the experience so fps drop another uh, what you call prevalent issues which this game was facing has been certainly taken care of optimization the performance of the game has been improved when the display name plate option is set to active now this was a vital vital a uh, bug and error which the gamer were facing when the display name plate option was set to active there was lot of crashes lot of instability and hopefully uh, with this patch the most important thing which i was looking for is optimization this should the game should be very much optimized for pc considering such a high space and considering this game uh, requires high graphics and visually this game is very appealing so if the game is not properly optimized for people having a, what you call a minimum system requirement to play this game could face and were facing a lot of issues uh, with no proper optimization done but with this 
certainly that has been taken care of marketplace the correct currency is now properly updated in the marketplace which has which has also was one of the issues which has been certainly taken care of and also an very important factor which i want to mention with you guys is that uh, uh, the next question which should definitely come to your mind whether any more patch fixes are going to come from microsoft from the developers of this game so the answer is currently no because they are not planning to release any more patch fixes uh, after this so hopefully uh, this all fixes which they have mentioned have correctly outlined have correctly redirected and completely uh, fixed your issues now let's go to the important question is it available to download yes this patch fix is currently available to download for those people who have bought this game can uh, can go to steam and they can update this this uh, the size of this patch fix would be ranging from 100 to 300 mb would not be more than this but we have to see but for those people who have bought this can simply use a steam feature to update this and and for the other version they could simply uh, check it online and get the version to update this patch but the major thing which microsoft has done with this has uh, has taken everyone by surprise because we were not expecting on the first place that this game would be having any issues but a lot many gamers i i have uploaded a previous how to fix errors and issues video and i got lot many comments still on instagram i get lot many messages from a lot many people that they are still facing issues so hopefully this patch fix will give a complete package uh, to uh, fix all the issues and uh, one more thing also which i forgot to tell you is that make sure uh, you turn off your antivirus because that's a major part because i don't know how many of you are using a perfect license fully licensed version of antivirus but for those people who are using a free or a trial version of any antivirus my advice is that uh, turn it off while installing this game because that may certainly block certain files which it may consider to be not uh, suitable for it so they may block certain number of files so uh, in my saying turn off your antivirus while installing this game and when you do a clean uninstall before using this patch make sure you delete that uh, come do a clean un uninstallation that is you have to do uninstall then you have to delete that uh, folder also where you have installed the game and from my document also do not forget to delete your save thing uh, because that is that may also hamper it so do a clean uninstallation and hopefully all these issues will be fixed so hopefully i was able to cover a lot of issues and fixes which you guys are getting and if you still have some issues if you if you still are facing some of the issues and they have not been fixed after using this patch also comment below and i will be there to help you and and i am also available on instagram if you want to follow me come join me you can chat with me there also our next target is 6000 subscribers slowly and steadily we are Google, we are growing with your support and hopefully we'll see the stars very soon so do support do do share this video and put your comments below bye bye take care keep supporting keep loving and keep gaming